Oh, welcome to Englishman's Kitchen. And today we're going to be doing a lamb cleftico. Done this once before, but I believe with a shoulder of lamb. And today we're going to use a leg of lamb, the top half of the leg. And lamb cleftico. Have a whole orange, half of it cut, a bulb of garlic, a couple of bay leaves, rosemary. Got to put a few slices of ginger, see what it tastes like, and um, some tomatoes. We've got olive oil, virgin olive oil, oregano, important oregano, black pepper, salt, and I'm also going to add a few of these sun dried tomatoes, the Italian antipasta tomatoes are in an oil but um be interesting to see how they come out so first of all i'm just gonna just a little bit of oil yeah and then we add some slices of our lemon Add a few tomatoes. Oh. And so and some black pepper. And we're going to some oregano and the lamb and there we go some rosemary rosemary is quite important on Greek cooking they do seem to make the best use of herbs and rosemary is one of the really nice flavoured herbs. Um, yes, garlic. I'm just going to just um, flatten the garlic out a bit. And then the top of our lamb Squeeze the lemon juice over. And best we can. Set our little tomatoes on. Bit more of our oregano. A little ginger. Got to say, I've got some um, a pepper there. Got them on. Try it with a pepper. Give it a bit of a bite. And then with our lemon, we then finish off with two, three nice chunks of this on top. And garlic just a couple of these nice oily tomatoes and then we have to wrap it all up as tightly as we can and try and stop any any of the steam and juices from escaping No expense said 
Let's do that for the game. And I'm going to actually give it one more wrap. That will keep all the juices tightly packed in there. And then put it in our baking tray. The oven's been heated to 175, 170 actually. And we'll put that in, and that will be roasting now for a good three hours. So we'll see you all in three hours' time and have a look at our lamb cleft deco. Thank you. Well, welcome back. So the meat's been in. The lamb's been in the oven for three hours and 25 minutes now. I'm just going to do some um, peppers, just quickly chop them up and um, add them onto the, to my favourite um, skillet or whatever you might call it, but it's a heavy metal dish and it's really nice for cooking veg in. And I've just got um, an onion in there and a couple of cloves of garlic and the three peppers. I'm going to put them in the oven um, probably for about 45 minutes, I would imagine. There we go. And here we have. Some parsnips which I've cut up and I've already um, just pasted on just a mixture of oil and honey and once again a little bit of salt on them and some pepper and we're going to put them into shelf of the oven again put the oven on piece of advice if anyone's using one of these bush ovens should always turn your power off before you actually turn this particular left hand one because <clears throat> I did find out but um, and of course when you turn it on turn that on first and then put your heat uh, reg on um, but I did find out that um, it causes a short in there when you're turning that on and off and this is on and uh, when it shorts out it actually um, ruins the the um, complete working of the knob so there you go. And uh, if you'd like to come back and see us again in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and hopefully we'll be about ready to dish up. Okay, okay so here we are. This is our meat, our lamb. We've lost hardly any juice at all. It's uh, just about all been contained. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Surprising how it shrinks away. <laughs> and on there. 
then just start cutting the plates, warm up. Here in the album. So let's just see if we can take this out. <laughs> it was a really big piece, wasn't it? And now not so big. So I'm going to do is just um, make a little gravy with this extra juice that we've got in the bottom, all that goodness. And that's going to go back in the oven just for 10 minutes just to try and brown that top off a little bit. Meanwhile, there's our peppers already and our honey roast pasta. And that can go back in there. Like so. Okay, so if you want to give me five minutes, um, just do some gravy, and then we'll come back and dish up. And welcome back for the final dishing up process, which, um, as you can see, peppers are nicely done. And the honey roast parsnips. And then the meat. I made some gravy. And just one extra thing I always do is use some jam. This time I've used some cranberry and port. Just three, uh, two to three tablespoon, uh, teaspoons added into the uh, saucepan when I'm mixing up. And you can thicken the gravy up. Um, whichever way you're used to really um, there's two or three different easy ways gravy granules and um, uh, um, normal uh, flour and then corn flour which um, I think my mum used to use so there you go and here we can see the meat look at that is that nice I did pour a little gravy over it just to make it look nice but, um, Mm -hmm. That looks really, really scrumptious. I always serve it with the uh, with the lemon peel as well. It's surprising how that adds to this particular cleftico dish. Oh, gravy. And there we are. There's one plated up. Nice. And that is it, really. Enjoy. And we'll see you again. <laughs>